If you love tacos, then today is your lucky day because in Park Hidalgo in the Cinco de Diciembre Colonial of Puerto Vallarta, they're having their annual festival. This year it's only one day only, March 31st, and it closes at 11 o'clock tonight. So head on over there if you love tacos because they have so many different types to offer. You won't be disappointed. There's something there for everybody. So this is the classic El Pastor taco that you see in many locations around the town. But in addition to that, you'll find all type of fish or seafood tacos, I should say, including octopus, shrimp, and fish. Walking around, I also saw crab, lingua, beef, and for all you vegetarians out there, they have vegan tacos as well. So you can see with that list, there's something here for everybody. And of course, there's more than just tacos being served here. There's all different types of beverages, from your juices to cervezas or beer, to mezcals and tequilas. Because nothing goes better with a good taco than a cold beer. And for those of you who have a sweet tooth or would like dessert, then they also have a churro maker here. He serves them with the traditional cinnamon sugar, or you can add some chocolate sauce. And there was also an ice cream maker here as well. To add to the fun, they had a DJ playing out some great tunes which you can dance to. So this is Veganos, the vegan food uh, taco maker. Uh, for carnitas, they're actually using jackfruit. It looked exactly like meat, well spiced, and I talked to a few people who got it and they said it was just incredible. I guess they go to the restaurant regularly and they were very pleased to find uh, the vendor here. So this festival is only one day long this year. It opened up at 2 o'clock and it closes at 11. I believe there's going to be some live bands uh, tonight. So if you have a chance and you get this early, I think you should uh, head on over. We plan to. Anyways, here is uh, a number of the different stands. I'm going to show those uh, pretty much the whole market for you so you have a, an idea of what it's all about. Uh, one of the things I really enjoy about tacos is uh, most of the vendors provide a lot of different sauces. And although I've been in Mexico for a number of years now, I never did realize until I was informed recently that uh, when you're making a taco, uh, you add a number of different sauces, normally at least two and sometimes three. And each one of these sauces bring out a different flavor flavor or I should say you can taste the different sauces in each bite and I since I started doing this I tell you my appreciation for tacos has only grown. This particular stand was selling tripa uh, tacos uh, and I think you should look that one up. It's uh, quite an interesting one and I'll tell you it tastes much better than it sounds. Now this stand here, they brought me in with a free sample, which I tried that. It was like a pork with some uh, beans with it, and it was so good. And then I looked at their menu, and they had something I've never seen before, which was a blue crab taco. And uh, it sounded so good, I had to try it. And once I had it, I'll tell you, I was extremely happy. It was very, very good. So this is my taco, my blue crab taco being cooked up. The uh, crab meat is barely sliced, uh, very finely sliced, I should say, and then put on a double-walled uh, shell here. It's uh, it's warm but not thoroughly cooked, and I'll tell you, it was so hot. It took me a little while before I could eat it. Uh, I just had to let it cool down, but adding some of the sauces to it sure made a difference. This is a shrimp dress. That is one delicious and good-looking taco. 
I've been coming to the Puerto Vallarta Taco Festival for a number of years, and ever since I've been coming to it, it's always been held in Park Hordago. Park Hordago is very close, or just in front of the Church of the Refugee, uh, just before the Malacan, and uh, it's on Avenue de Mexico, so the best way to go into it is off of Avenue Mexico, just before the Malacan. So many of the taco stands here sell various types of uh, carnitas. You can see those in the tray here. They're always uh, separated and put on the grill and cooked for you while you wait. So in addition to tacos, there was a chip stand here. And then right beside that, if you had a sweet tooth, was your opportunity to grab some churros. Churros are uh, basically a dough which they uh, cook or fry. It's like a big donut or fried donut. And once it's taken out of the oil, they place it in or cut it up into smaller pieces. And then uh, basically coat it in uh, sugar, or I should say cinnamon uh, sugar. Very delicious and a must try if you're in Mexico and especially Puerto Vallarta. As I said earlier, they had a DJ here playing lots of music. People were dancing to it and this young lady here was trying to entice people to uh, get on the dance floor with her. I think she's going to be successful. If not now, then I'm sure later on tonight. I think she's part of the, uh, the entertainment here. Lots of different types of tacos here, but the predominant type was some sort of meat or carnitas. You saw sort of a sausage and pork, but there's also a lot of beef as well. In addition, there's lingua, which you need to check out, uh, which I believe is uh, actually looked, uh, referred to as tongue, cow tongue that is, and a few other surprises. You can see that there's lineups at many of the stands and that's probably a good indication of which, uh, which one people are finding the best. I think it will get much busier tonight around supper time, but I must say that uh, even though there's a lineup, they move very quick. Uh, the servers here are cooking continuously, so it's just a matter of putting it all together and then plating it up for you. So they'll take a taco shell, they'll put the, the type of meat that you select, either a carnita or some sort of fish, put a few toppings on it and then they leave the rest to you. You have a choice of a lot of different toppings and sauce to add to it. I'm a huge fan of shrimp tacos. I like the Baja style, which means it's shrimp and it's, or you should say, a battered shrimp. That's what I just got here. They deep fry it. They put then uh, sort of a cabbage together or very thinly sliced cabbage and carrots generally. And then you just add your types of sauces. Uh, I always put a, like a mayo and a chipotle sauce on mine, which I find the best. Here's one of the drink stands. I think it's sort of a, a citrus type juice. and. This is pulpo or octopus. Uh, this gentleman had a nice barbecue out and had these small octopus there, which he was uh, grilling up, and then they would slice them up and put them into your taco. That's uh, actually, I love grilled octopus. I've never had them on a taco. I normally get a chipotle or a garlic butter sauce put on them and, and eat it that way. And once again, another stand here with the uh, pastor or uh, pastor meat or pork. I'm not sure what the second one is. It has a totally different color. It does look like pork, not beef, but uh, if somebody knows, please let me know. We had a lot of tourists at the festival today, as well as expats and locals, and I think the, the pull pole stand uh, or octopus stand was probably the favorite, at least in terms of watching and seeing what was going on. A lot of people were videotaping it and taking pictures. It's probably not all that common where you are back home, but pull pole or octopus is very common here. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please like and subscribe.